Hello again, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And we're ready to bring you the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we take a brief check at the matchups. Our starting five for both teams. One of the preeminent players in professional basketball, John Haplicek. Seems to me that anytime the game is on the line, I mean, he's perfectly willing to be the hero or the GOAT for that matter. And that's what it takes to be clutch in big situations. You can't be afraid to fail. And maybe above all else, we should really mention just what a fantastic setup man he is. So many of their baskets come as a result of one of his assists. Number 34, covered by Havlicek. Back to Brown. They set the pick. Lock at six. Pass to Barrett. On deep. The shot still Brown making the play. Barry's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Yes, Kevin. Well, Doug Collins and I had a few minutes to catch up. This is a team that loves to run, and he wants to see them do what they love. Fast break basketball should be on the menu today, guys. We'll enjoy watching it. All right, Doris. Here's Siegfried. Back to Jones. It's hauled in by Barry. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. Got that one up quick. Barry's got five points so far. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Outside, Jones. Shot, high post. The shot is off. Can't get a much better look than that, though. Sure can't. Not one you'd expect him to miss there. They set the pick. Brown outside. Pass to Barry. Takes the three. And that one's good. Eight points for him. All right, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Back to Havlicek. The pass to Sanders. Nice ball movement by Boston. To end the run. Boston, no good that time either. Now Brown. Passes to Barry. Gets a very good look and converts. Barry's got 10 points in the game. That's his fourth straight make right out the shoot. He set in a pretty high standard for himself here. Yeah, that's the kind of start you want every game, but of course you rarely get it. And now the first time out call here for Boston. Sanders with the ball. Pass to Havlicek. Puts it up from 12. And counting two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Well, they had to take the lid off the hoop, I guess, but they finally get one to go there. Yeah, a bit of an unsettled start. I mean, maybe that'll get them going. And the Celtics making a change here. Russell's checked in. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Brown. Pass to Barry. Fires for three. Gets it to go. Barry's got 13. Huge advantage for them already. And as well as they've played at both ends so far, this lead might continue to grow. Celtics trail by 10. Here's Siegfried. 
About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. John Havlicek on the wing. Shot clock at five. It's one up. They've had a cold start so far. Just one of five from the floor here early. He dishes it to Brown. Number 42. He's guarded by Russell. There's the pass to Barry. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Here's Siegfried. He's covered by Brown. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, here's Havlicek. Passes it to Siegfried. Six on the shot clock. From downtown, that's good. Siegfried's got his first three points of the game. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass it. Brown outside. Pass to Barry. Back to Brown. Takes a shot at the elbow. And that is good. This is a team that's focused. Completely locked into the task at hand. What an impressive start to this game. Here's Siegfried. Kicks it to Jones. Jones got the loose ball, but that will be a backcourt violation. And the Celtics making a change here. Barnes has checked in. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Celtics trail by nine. Here's Siegfried. Here's Havlicek. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. Uh, point play chance here. Powell's checked in for Boston. For Boston, they have gone one for one making their previous attempt at the line. That's good from Applecheck. Here's Brown. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. There's the screen. Off the screen. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Great job. Take it right at the defense. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, he left him no choice but to foul there. Two shots. First one falls for him. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Celtics trail by eight. Russell a screen on Brown. Here's Siegfried. Barnes up top. Shot clock at six. And the pass to Howell. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. And that's going to open things up for them on the perimeter going forward, Clark. 
Number 15, covered by Havlicek. Number 15, no luck. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Siegfried, the pass to Havlicek. Here's Siegfried. He's covered by Brown. The dish to Barnes. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Howell. From beyond the arc. Can't hit. And here's Brown. Bank shot. No good. Celtics trail by six. The kick out to Havlicek. Passes it to six. Here's Howell. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Howell's got his second basket. Nice soft touch to drop that one in. And I think he, he believes that if he takes some time here to kind of talk things over, it'll be well served for this club. And you know, maybe this gives him an opportunity to toy around with some of their game plan while he has their attention during this break in the action. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. Anderson outside. Anderson right side. Pass to Peterson. Five to shoot. Count it from 12. Peterson's got his first points in this one. A nice piece of work there. Find a little space and pull the trigger. Now the pass to Howell. Defended by Peterson. And you can count it, he'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. That free throw good from Howell. Here is Anderson. They set the screen. We've got 118 left in the first. Here's Logan. Hits the three-point drop. And the story of this game in the early stages is just how well they've been shooting the ball. Steve, their percentage from the floor is really impressive up to this point. Celtics trail by six. And Bryant kicks to Howe. He passes to Russell. Defended by Peterson. Here's Howell. Goes up the baseline. And there are the Celtics with another basket. That's four connections and five tries now for him in what's been a great first quarter. Howell's gone 80% from the field. Four of five shooting. He feeds it to Anderson. There's the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. Number 32. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Nice strong finish. Very nearly a three-point play opportunity. Yeah, when you stay aggressive, good things happen. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. 
36 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Passes it to Howell. Number 12. And it's good. Boy, this game is off to a terrific start. No doubt. On both sides, high-octane offense. Now, here's Anderson. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Peterson. No good on the buzzer beater. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. The home team up four. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Boy, a ton of threes in that first quarter. This team really lighting it up, guys. Yeah, it's been an onslaught from downtown. Celtics trail by four. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court right now for the Celtics. They've got Nelson. Russell is out there with Howell. Then there's Dunleavy. Nelson off the pick from Howell. Six to shoot. The drive by Bryant. This one for three. They get it back. Pass to Howell. Here's the screen. And another basket for Boston. You have to love the fact that they created an excellent shot. Howell's gone a nice five of six shooting from the field. The pass to Logan. Number 32. The three-pointer is right on target. Five points in the game. There's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes in this defense. It should be easy to correct, though, if you start making the right rotations defensively. Outside, Bryant. Shot clock at six. A steal. It's three on three on the fast break. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Number 32 gets it to go. Now Bryant. Feeds it to Nelson. There's a screen. Number 12. And another basket for Boston. That was an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. Gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Number 30. He makes the Johnny from the left block. Bryant with it. Now a timeout called by Boston. And at this part of the game, always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the game plan, these players are getting a much-needed chance to rehydrate and refuel with Gatorade. And guys, uh, we know the drill well. All three of us drinking the Gatorade, too. Yeah, yeah no right. I mean, Kevin, people oh, have no idea the fatigue that can set in during a telecast. 
And so it's important for us to stay hydrated all game long. Clark, you're always hydrated. Yeah, I try to be, but it's usually um, with a combination of H2O and Gatorade. I love Gatorade. And look at Steve. He has the Gatorade shirt on. Yeah, he's, all, he's really immersed in the Gatorade. Yeah, got to love it. <laughs> We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Nelson outside. Dishes it to Sanders. Backing him down. Fades and shoots. And he overshot that one. Missing. That was not pretty there. You got to make that one. But maybe that's not his range. Number 14. Defended by Bryant. Gets it to go. Celtics trail by nine. Here's Jones. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. The drive by Bryant. Now the feed to Nelson. Five on the clock. Bryant in the post. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Bryant's got his first bucket of the night. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. It's tipped. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. And the Celtics making a change here. Celtics trail by seven. Pass to six. He kicks to Nelson. Pass to Jones. A baseline J. Can't get it to go. You gotta like the defense not quitting on the play and getting a hand in the face. Sure do. With a tough defender breathing down your neck, that makes it not an easy shot. Number 34. Here's Barry, and he banks in the lane. Barry's got 15. They have got to put a body on, because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive line. Here's Siegfried. He dishes it to Sanders. He passes to Siegfried. Rocket six. That one wide left. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. They set the pick. Number 15, Sanders covering. Expanding his range. There's the bucket good. He's got five. Celtics trail by 12. And here's Jones. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Siegfried. Six on the shot clock. Jones off a pick from Nelson. Off the screen. And that one is stuffed right through. So a pick was set at the perfect angle on the floor. And... He used it nicely. Well, that's a play we may see from them a few more times. Why not? I mean, when it works, you go back to it, and it can stop you. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Way too loose on that inbounds pass. Barnes, he's checked in for Russell. Here's Siegfried. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. We have to like what we're seeing from Barry. They need to make some adjustments because he's absolutely scorching.
here, Siegfried. Kicks it to Barnes. And count the basket, he was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Exceptional play to take the bump and still get it up and down. Yeah, way to stay with it and look to finish the play right there. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. with it. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. No, no, no. Come out, come out, come out. Down low. Just his first attempt. And it's blocked by Barnes. Here's Siegfried. There's the dish to Barnes. Backs him down. Comes up empty down low. I like the work there, contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in traffic. Now, oh, here's Brown. Sinks the three-pointer. He's got five. They are wreaking havoc on him with the three-point shot here. Lazy perimeter defense. Clark, you got to take the shooter's airspace away from him. He feeds it to Havlicek. Pass to Sitcher. Dishes it to Sanders. Shoots from the elbow. Can't get it to go. And a nice job there defensively. Just getting a hand up enough to bother the shot. Yeah, that was very nice. Impressive. It made a much more difficult shot. He was all alone on that one. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. That was the ninth straight point from behind the arc, Clark. It feels like they're finding the holes in this defense. Here's Siegfried. Now, here's Sanders. Lock at six. Here's Jones. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Jones has got his first points of the night. Here's Brown. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Celtics making a change here. Russell's checked in. One ten left in the second quarter. Number 15, covered by Havlicek. Number 33, 11 feet out and he hits it. Five points in the game. The defense playing way too soft there, guys. He's just getting right to the rim. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. And taken away by Brown. Puts the lead pass in front of him. Gets it to go. Barry's got 17. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket. Right in the shooting pocket. For a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen much of at the other end of the floor, though. Havlicek defended by Barry. Siegfried, the pass to Sanders. Just five to shoot. Fires from the line. Siegfried hits the bucket. Five points in the game. Now, here's Brown. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Here's Barry. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Sanders. Target at the rim. And so that's the end of the first half. The home team, they lead by 13. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Monday has almost come to an end. Let's celebrate with a little halftime show. The home team is on a tear right now. 
Their second unit giving them instant offense. They've gone to their bench for scoring, and they've answered the call. For the Celtics, though, in this one, plenty of work still to be done. They'd like to forget that first half. Coach has not been happy with what he's seen out there, and they'll likely come out with major adjustments. Sam Jones hasn't made much of an impact so far. It hasn't been pretty. He's only got one make from the field. That's it for us here in the studio. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the city of brotherly love. Really an incredible game from Barry. Seemed like he made everything he got. I mean, anytime he had an open look, he took advantage of the opportunity there in that first half. And see, they were all good looks. I mean, his shot selection has been terrific throughout the game. Celtics trail by 13. Outside, Jones. And there's the pass to Sigfrey. Feeds it to Nelson. Just five on the clock. Pulls it up. And he hits the jump shot. Nelson's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Boston. And for the Celtics. Pavlicek is out there with Nelson. Then there's Sanders. Then it's Jones. And it's Siegfried in at the one. Shot clock at six. Number 34. And the big shot is good. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys. But I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Now here's Jones. Passes it to Sidney. Open jump shot off the mark. Well, an eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. And for the Celtics. Sidney is out there with Jones. Then there's Havlicek. Then there's Sanders. And it's Nelson in at the five, roaming the paint. The feed to Sanders. Pass to Sidney. Havlicek left side. Fires it up. It's hauled in by Brown. Havlicek's gone two for five tonight. Brown the pass to Barry. Back to Brown. Number 34, Sanders covered. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. Also, he's checked in for Boston. Celtics trail by 18. Now a timeout called by Boston. Yeah, he's trying to take the wind out of their sails here. I mean, they're on the wrong end of a bad run. they got to sort things out. I think things were very close to spiraling out of control if he didn't burn one there. points in the game. Back to Nelson. And the layup's good off the glass. Nelson's got six. That's really told the story today, guys. I mean, throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and then finish. 
in that park. They've been more active and more physical down low, and I think that's been the difference. Now, here's Brown. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Well, still a great start to the half after hitting their first three, even before that miss. Outside, Jones. Picked his pocket. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Back to Brown. Shot clock at five. The baseline J. Good as the shot falls. Brown's got his first basket of the night. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. He kicks it to Sanders. He passes it to Sid. Shoots a fader. Kept alive. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. Boston making a switch here. The Celtics have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Clark, one thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And you love to see that, Kevin. I mean, I love watching unselfish play, and I know Steve enjoys that, too. Yeah, that's the best part of the game. I mean, a five-man team game where the ball moves has so much unselfish play. It's beautiful to watch. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Apple check outside. The pass to six. Back to Havlicek. Six to shoot. Pulls up on the wing. Count the bucket. Havlicek's got eight points. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Trying to add a few more points to their lead. Simply need to just stay the course, Kevin. That's it. It's been a good course so far. Yep. Pass to Anderson. A three ball. Rebound, Boston. Here's Siegfried. He has five. Havlicek, the pass to Siegfried. He dishes it to Nelson. Kicks it to Havlicek. From deep three-point range. But they recover it. Here's Barnes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Barnes has got five. You know, it's a plus to get good looks in the paint. And when you can get them, you got to score them. Now Anderson. No scoring yet from him. But that's likely to change. Barry uncovered. And that one's good. Great-looking bounce pass to set up that play. Here's Siegfried. Havlicek outside. Passes to Siegfried. Back to Havlicek. There's the pick. Off the pick. Again, the Celtics good for two. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash-mouth basketball, guys. I love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. The Celtics making a switch here. Anderson dishes to Brown. 
Back to Anderson. Brown outside. He feeds it to Anderson. Clock at four. There's a good screen. Number 33. No good. Some solid to hear from Howell. Number 12. Defended by Anderson. Havlicek kicks to Howe. Havlicek outside. Shot from 12. And it's Boston with another. Just seems like they're finding an open lane to the hoop every time down. That's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Here's Barron. 23 points in the game. Back to Anderson. From the arc. That's good. Most any NBA player can make you pay when you leave them that wide open. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. We've got 148 left in the third quarter of the game. The dish to Barnes. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Anderson passes to Brown. Back to Anderson. Three-pointer. Anderson can't get that one to fall. Celtics trail by 14. Here's Howell. The pass break ends at the rim with a jam. Now that is a quick bucket. Pretty good in transition. That's right. That's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. Anderson outside. Dishes it to Brown. Pass to Barry. There's the pick. Back to Brown. Just five to shoot. Now the pass to Barry. The three. The rebound by Russell. Russell's got four rebounds now tonight. Well, he struggled a little bit in the second half. But remember, he hit three of those in the first half. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Here's Bill. He used that pick to get in close. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Well, Charlotte's making a switch here. That free throw good from Barry. 32 seconds left to play in the third. And Bryant kicks to Jones. Left side Jones. Bryant feeds to Havlicek. Back to Bryant. Five to shoot. From deep. Sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Bryant's got five now. And here is Brown. Passes it to Barry. From deep. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And here at the end of the first quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. The home team up by 10. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And the final period of play just about to start. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. Havlicek, he's checked in for Howell.
Celtics trail by 10. Russell dishes to Sanders. Stolen. And for the Celtics. We've got Sanders. Jones is out there with Dunleavy. Then it's Russell. And it's Havlicek in at the three spot. And here's Boston. And Bryant kicks to Jones. Back to Bryant. Nice ball movement by Boston. The feed now to Havlicek. Shot clock at six. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Havlicek's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Celtics. Havlicek's gotten six of his ten shots to go in for him, so 60% shooting on the night. On the floor for Boston. Havlicek is out there with Sanders. Then it's Russell. Then there's Dunleavy, and it's Jones in at the two-guard position. And the shot is good. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Bryant with it. He kicks it to Havlicek. He passes to Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. And John Havlicek again. Havlicek's got four points now in the quarter. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Pass to Logan. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The first one falls. Some changes for Boston. Howell comes in for Sanders. And Siegfried subbed in for Mike Dunleavy. Both free throws good from Logan. Look at the free throw percentage. Unblemished since halftime, Clark. That's pretty nice. I'd go farther than that, Steve. How about perfect? Here's Siegfried. Pass to Havlicek. Here's Siegfried. Defended by Barry. He dishes it to Russell. Backs down. Hook shot on the way. And it's Boston with another. The hook is what he needed to get that one over the defense. When you get it up quick, it's almost impossible to block. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. There's the pass to Barry. Number 15. Hits the front of the rim and out. Celtics trail by nine. Here's Siegfried. Kicks to Havlicek. Goes up with a strike. Green for two points. Havlicek's got 12 points in just the second half. And now both of these clubs really in a groove here. Already a high-scoring game, but it has become an offensive showcase down the stretch. Now here's Brown. Number 34, defended by Howell. He had to play back on that one, but still, time to go. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Here's Siegfried. 
Back to Havlicek. Havlicek right side. Lock at six. Siegfried the pass to Havlicek. Three-pointer. Here's Howell. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. First free throw is good. The Celtics making a switch here. Sanders is checked in. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area they just can't afford to get lazy with. You know, I think the effort's been there, Steve, but they're still getting outworked just by a scotch. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they can stretch this lead out. Here's Bill. Sanders covering him. Brown outside. Barry. Back to Brown. The train gets the bucket. Celtics trail by 11. Pass to six. Misses off the left iron. And here is Brown. Pass to Barry. Six on the shot clock. From the baseline. That's good on the jump shot. Barry's got 11 points here in just the second half. He has really shot the ball extremely well, as you'd expect. Like we say, he's been making sweet string music all day long. Here's Siegfried. And he feeds it to Sanders. Now the dish to Jones. It's intercepted. On the wing ground. Number 15. Offline with his three. Celtics trail by 13. Jones drives in, and he uses the glass on the lane. Good job there, recognizing the mismatch and then just going straight up with the shot. He's got a major height advantage. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Doug Collins as he addressed his team. His advice clear-cut. I want to see you playing to win, not playing not to lose. I don't care what the lead is. We do not back off. And thank you, Doris. This is the Brown. With the lead pass, number 15. It's rebounded by Howell. This is not the slam dunk contest. You don't get do-over. You got to finish the job. Back to Jones. From 15 feet away, Siegfried. Shot clock at six. Back to Jones. Let's it go with a three. They can 
take their time on this possession. You know, guys, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, give themselves a little break, too. Catch the breath. Yeah. Right. The pass to Barry. Lock at six. Number 34. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. One shot. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by 14. A minute 50 left to play in the final quarter. Here's Siegfried. Feeds to Jones. Jones off a pick from Howell. Jones drives in. Gets it to go. With the prospect of making a big lead even bigger. Yeah, and they got to jump at the chance to actually stretch this thing out even more. Good point. Now, here's Brown. Number 34. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his seventh assist here tonight. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. Celtics trail by 14. Russell a screen on Brown, and it's Boston with another. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Now, here's Brown. Number 34. He's guarded by Russell. Number 34. Shoots a terrific shot on the turnaround. They didn't take their time wrapping this game up. They pretty much did it in a hurry. Yeah, they had a nice spurt to polish this one off. Here's the feed to Jones. We got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Blocked. He kicks it to Brown. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Finds himself wide open and drills it. They certainly haven't let these fans down tonight. It's been a fun night to be in the building. It has been. I mean, the atmosphere has been great, and no doubt that helped with the winning effort. Here's Siegfried. Pass to Jones. Lays it up and banks it in. That's kind of his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the defense and finish at the rim. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? And now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for joining us tonight in our presentation of NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game. I think it's very vital.
Get your hand off my penis!